CCN assignment 2 topic is SDLC and PPP. Group members are Yashashri Oak, Abhilash Tiwari and Aditya Shende. Now we will move forward towards SDLC. SDLC stands for High Level Data Link Control. It is basically a group of communication protocols of the data link layer. The data is organized into frames. It is basically a bit oriented protocol. Since it is a data link protocol, data is organized into the frames. It is applicable for both point to point and multi point communications. Now, SDLC supports two types of transfer modes normal transfer mode and asynchronous balance mode. Here, two types of stations are available primary stations that sends commands and secondary stations that can respond to receive the commands. It is used for both point to point and multi point communications. Point to point and multi point communication. In the point to point communication, here primary station sends the commands to secondary station and response is given by the secondary station to primary station. And in the multi point communication, primary station sends the command and two secondary stations give the response to the primary station. A synchronous balance mode. In this, two stations are available primary station and secondary station. Primary station can send the command as well as give the response of the command received, as well as secondary station can send the command as well as give the response of the request achieved. HDLC frames. HDLC it is a bit oriented protocol contains up to six fields. The structure varies according to the type of the frame. The fields of the HDLC frames are flag field, address field, control field, payload field, FCS field and flag field. Flag. It is an 8-bit sequence that marks the beginning and the end of the frame. The bit pattern of the flag is 0, 6 times 0, uh, 6 times 1 and again a 0. Now, address field. It contains the address of the receiver. It is the frame is sent by the primary station. It contains address of the secondary station. If it is sent by the secondary station, it contains the address of the primary station address field may be from one byte to several bytes now control field it is a one byte or two bytes containing flow and error control information payload this carries the data from the network layer its length may vary from one network to another fcs it is a two byte or 4 byte frame check sequence for the error detection. The standard code used is CRC. It is a cyclic redundancy code. Now moving forward to the types of SDLC frames. There is an I frame, S frame and U frame. I frame it is an information frames carry user data from the network layer they also include flow and error control information that is piggybacked on the user data. The first beat of the control field of the I frame is 0. S frame or supervisory frames do not contain the information field. They are used for flow and error control when the piggybacking is not required. The first two beats of the control field of the S frame is 1 0 
and for i frame it was simply a zero now moving towards u frame and the u frames called as unnumbered frames are used for miscellaneous functions like link management it may contain an information field if required they first two beats of the control field of the u frame are 1 1 from this we can identify which type of hdlc frame we are using now moving forward towards triple p that is point to point protocol basically triple p was devised by ietf internet engineering task force to create a data link protocol for point to point lines that can solve all the problems present in the slip triple p is most commonly used data link protocol it is used to connect home pc to the server of isp via modem it can provide connection authentication transmission encryption and compression it is used over many types of physical networks including serial cable phone line trunk line cellular telephone specialized radio links and fiber optic links such as sonnet it defines link control protocol for establishing the link between two devices maintaining the established link as well as for configuring this link and terminating this link after the transfer there are four components 1 2 3 and 4 of triple p encapsulation link control protocol authentication protocols are